Good afternoon. Welcome to another English class. Today uh, is the first class of the week. And remember that Wednesday we have the oral quiz for the other 35% of your evaluations. So um, I'm going to write uh, this again in the chat box because some of you don't put this into practice. Sweet. Well, I can't, I can copy it again. Okay, so what I'm, I was typing here is that if you're going to type the word present in the chat box, say at least good afternoon too, right? Because uh, it never hurts to be polite. It never hurts to say, Good morning, good afternoon, right? So it's just a friendly reminder. Ah, uh -huh, like that. Thank you, Gustavo, for setting an example. And you're not hearing, right? After this, I'm gonna show you today's lesson. We'll start working on the English ID. Unit number four, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, it's unit number four. I will show you what we're going to do right now. There we go. Unit number four is page, page 36, 36, 36, 36. Were you a spoiled child? So someone who is a spoiled, it is someone whose parents never grounded. Uh, someone spoiled is someone who receives everything that he or she wants. And that creates some um, annoying behavior on people. Uh, a spoiled child or spoiled children are very annoying because they think they think that everyone or everything goes around them. You can say that spoiled children are the ones who have no brothers or sisters, that, but this is not true. You might be a spoiled and you may have siblings. You may be an only child. That, that, is, that doesn't matter if you're an only child or you have siblings or not. And a spoiled one is just a, a person whose parents uh, try to accomplish all of their wishes. They granted all of their wishes. And, and this is not the, I'm not a parent myself, but uh, I think this is not the way in order to raise a child. And I don't know if you consider yourself a spoil, are you? Um, Diana Nicole, do you consider yourself that you were a spoiled child or you are a spoiled teenager? What can you say about it? Or Adriana Abrego? Adriana, Adriana. Daniel Bonilla. Good afternoon, teacher. Hello. Uh, what do you think? Do you consider yourself uh, that you were an spoiled child or an spoiled teenager? In my opinion, in the past few years ago, yes. <laughs> okay, and now? 
It's no like a spoil like light. I don't was bullied a lot, but yes, I suffered it, but it's not extremely. Huh. Yes. Okay, I got it. Okay. So uh maybe, well, I don't know. Uh, it's being spoiled by your parents or by your grandparents sometimes. It's considered bad since you got a personality like, I don't know, like these guys right here. And I don't know, it, it got an, a positive side. Maybe it does. Everything got uh, pros and cons, I, I, I suppose, because I was spoiled by my grandmother, but my mother did not spoil me. So, yes, teacher. It depends because, uh, for example, uh, forever everything has a limit have a limit you know uh -huh. for example you can spoil with your friend if you know that your friend won't be bad if you spoil with him or her but if you know that your friend feels very bad if you spoil him or her is not recommendly it's like no. that it depends because if I spoil with my family, but with a limit, it's like, ha, ha, ha. Yes, of course, it's good. Mm -hmm. But if we spoil and we reach the respective limit, it's like, uh, please stop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and something that I think um, that is positive is that they show you that they love you, that they care, they care of you. The problem is when, when parents start like, you know, like justifying or condoning their children's, children's, yes, in this case, it's possessive children's behavior. For example, um, this is just an example. This is not uh, anything that has happened to me recently, but let's say that I call to one of your parents reporting that you're not in class or that, that you are online or you appear online. But when I ask you questions, uh, you don't respond and then I call uh, your father or mother and they they know they know that you're not paying attention because just just you don't feel it you're you don't want it and they say no teacher we're having some problems with the internet the computer the microphone etc and that is condoning uh, that is justifying with lies uh, children's behavior and I think and I think you do it they do it because they want to protect you but protect you from what <laughs> what I'm gonna do against you obviously nothing uh, but there's there's that kind of a spoiling that is is not positive because what are you doing there in, in that in that situation so they are raising people who is not gonna take responsibilities in the future. This is one negative side of a spoiling. The other positive side is, is that they show you how much they love you. They provide for you. This is what one of the things that parents are, are meant to do, provide uh, with security, with food, with protection, etc. So this is a very difficult, difficult topic to discuss because nobody nobody uh, got a course or a class how to be the perfect parent and what is the perfect way to raise a child because there's no a perfect way to raise a child and I can tell you from experience my, my mother has to raise my sister and I with the same values with the same opportunities, with the same everything. They treat us equally, but we turned to different sides. She thinks in a way, I think and behave in another way. And we are totally different, even though we have received the same education and the same opportunities. So I know it's difficult. Okay, so right here, there's something that I want you to write down in your books. The first time, your first time in your childhood, when you were a kid, when you were kids, the first times, those things that you always, always remember, your first, uh, 
boyfriend, your first kiss, the first online song that you got, the first pet, well, the first job now because you're too young, your first, uh, when you learn to ride a bike, when you get, uh, I don't know, when you go on a trip by yourself, I don't know if you have had the opportunity, I don't think so, that you have had the chance to have a trip by yourselves alone or what? So try to write the experiences. Uh, meet your first, what? Boyfriend, no, well, whatever. How old were you when you got your first pet? How old were you? when you had your first kiss? How old were you when you buy your first product? How old were you when you learned first ride a bike? Get your first pet, go on, go on your first trip and take your first driving lesson. I don't know, is, is there anyone who remembers one of these things and wants to share to the class? Maybe, I will take advantage that my dear uh, Masin, no, it's not Masin, is, um, yeah, Masin is here. Uh, but there's this guy here. Wait a second. Mia, I saw that Mia was here. Isn't he? Not anymore. Celeste Gonzalez. Not around. Genesis Castillo. Hi, teacher. Hello, Genesis. Let me see. Uh, have you ever uh, go on a trip yourself? I mean, with no parents, no friends. Well, maybe with your friends. on a trip to the beach, to the mountains, to another country? Have you um, ever gone alone? Um, other country, maybe no. Mm -hmm. um, where... But do you remember a trip with no parents? Yes, with parents, yes. Ah, with your parents, of course. Okay. Thank you, my dear. And let me see. Diego Espinosa. Hello, teacher. Um, I'm sorry for being too curious, but have you had a girlfriend? This is past or present? Uh, past. Yes. Okay. Why? Tell me. Uh, the question here: Do you? Re how old were you when you have your first kiss? Mm. That is very personal. <laughs> yeah, I know, but this is the question that they would suggest. Birds, I was nervous. I, I don't know what. No sé cuántos años tenía. You ah, what age? you are fifteen. You are fifteen now or sixteen? Fifteen. Fifteen. Maybe three, two years ago. How do you say? Uh, I say that no cuenta. Ah, uh, they do, they do. My first kiss was at 11. It was like, a, you know, a bird kiss, not a real kiss, but a kiss is a kiss. It counts. Yes. It counts. Yeah, well, it counts. Don't be like that. Okay. If the kiss is from my mom and in my cheek, it counts. <laughs> That is very no. sad. <laughs> yeah, bro. Well, your I mother have never had a, a girlfriend. Yes. No, okay. this is difficult to say, right? 
Yes, it's personal. It's very personal. Yes, yeah, this book is very nosy. New in this uh, in this school, and I personalmente I mm -hmm. don't um, conocer. No conozco casi nadie. Solo mm -hmm. las. Entonces contar esto aquí se necesitan como un año. More, more confidence. Sí. Okay. Good. Have the reason, bro. But I have COVID confidence and I have never had a girlfriend. But everything is good. Okay. So according to this, when you meet your first boyfriend, when you have your first kiss. Okay. Uh, not your mother's kiss, you know. It's, it's something more romantic. Anyway, so the last question, this one is not too personal. It says, do you remember the first thing you buy online? Well, you don't have credit cards, so that don't count like you have purchased something online, but a product, not online. What was the first thing you had gotten with your own money, not with mama's and papa's money, with your money? It still is from your parents, but you know what I mean. Uh, maybe Ennis is Hello Week. Is, is she here? Hi, teacher. Hello, Hello Week. Do you remember the first thing that you have bought? Not online because you don't have credit card. And if you had purchased something online, it's with your parents' credit card. And that doesn't count. So what is the first that you bought in your childhood? Do you uh, repeat, please? Okay, the question is, what is the first thing, the first product that you bought as a kid? Uh, clothes. Ah, really? What was it? Um, a dress, a shirt? Uh, uh, pyjama, I don't know. Ah, pajamas. Your pajamas. Your PJs. PJs, they say for sure. Your PJs. And uh, toys. And toys. Wow, excellent. Oh, of course, you were a child. Thank you, Genesis. And let me see, my dear um, Diego again, Diego, Diego, this, this question is not too personal. Um, do you have pets? Yes, his name is Massimo Velardo. Wow, why too long? Yeah. And do you call it like that every time that you ask him to come? La última parte no la entendí. Ah, if you, when, when you call your dog, for example, say, hey, Rocky, come, uh -huh. come here. Come here. Do you call him with no. the whole name? His name is Max. But call him Max. For oh. a TikToker, I, oh. I said this, Massimo Abelardo. He oh. was for a movie. And uh -huh. this movie is, is interesting. It's a dog, I suppose. Yeah, maybe. It's a top. Okay, thank you. And then, 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 Gustavo. Gustavo I, Daniel Aguilar. Yes, yes, yes. Do you okay. remember your first time that you take driving lessons? Have you ever taken driving lessons, by the way? I have never taken driving lessons. Oh, no. Yes. Uh, so then let's move to another question. A pet? Your first pet? I don't have a pet no, and I have never had a pet. Oh no. Um, do you know how to ride a bike? I don't know. <laughs> well, <laughs> but, so, um, okay, this is the personal area, but you're confident, tell me. Um, no, you said that only your mama's, mama's kiss, right? <laughs> uh, definitely you haven't bought an online uh, mm -hmm. your product the first product that you have bought I remember that was a toy 
Which because one? Because I was a child. No? Of course, of course. The first time he saw his innocence. Yes. I don't remember what it was, but the only idea that I had it like uh, was a little Lego, you know, that very expensive toys and very unnecessary. <laughs> yeah, but as a kid, it's something yeah. essential. So you're not going yeah. to buy what a laptop computer when you are six or five. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely you're not. That's why yeah. your parents are poor. Okay, thank you guys for sharing these uh, questions. Uh, then we have a, an analysis here. What kind of kid, what kind of a child were you? According to the psychologist, I don't know if he really exists, I'm gonna Google it just to verify if the source is, is legit. Based on the psychologist Donald Elliott, he has created five categories to describe children. Group number one, group number two, until we got in group number five. They get different descriptions. Uh, there are the adjectives that best describe these kids and the things they, they do. So the words or the adjectives we use to describe the kids or the group of kids and what they do. And we have some words in, in bold here. Listen to the sound effect and say they were okay. No, no, no. We're gonna read it. We're gonna listen as you read. And then you have to reread the text. What it would say this is a statement. There are some statements here that only a kid that belongs to a specific group would say. So you have to write the number of the group of the kids that probably say things like that. So we're gonna listen. Oh, wait a second. He's here. Well, actually, there's not an audio. There's not an audio for this, it's just reading. So based on the intensive study, psychologist Donald Elliott has created five categories to describe a typical child ages from four to 10. Here's a summary of his study. So uh, group number one, uh, that will be read by, nah, 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 nah. let's see. Iris Canales. Iris Iris. Iris. Curiously, uh, my dear Canales is the first to say present and the last to respond when I ask her something. Is that a coincidence? Edwin Flores? Edwin Flores? Edwin, Edwin. Edwin Flores, not here. Luis Rivera. Hello, Luis. Uh, can you read? Can you? Oh, you can't. Okay, please, I understand. Okay. So, um, okay, Edwin, I got it. 
I'll try to fix your problems for Wednesday because for Wednesday you have an oral evaluation. Please. Okay, it is. Can you read? These kids are funny, so they like to laugh and entertain people. These kids are active and creative, so they do many activities at the same time and never get tired. These kids are social, <laughs> so they make lots of friends their own age or older very easily. Thank you very much. It is it. Group number two, please love me kids. So they, they are kind, always helping people in trouble, hard working, like to do well in school to make their parents happy, sensitive, cry if other kids make fun of them. Group number three, uh, Daniel Aguilar. Please. Daniel, Daniel Aguilar. Hello. Help me with number three, please. Well, but why kids? Shy, curious, independent. So they like to be alone sometimes, like to know how machines work, for example, like to explore the world on their own. Thank you. Group number four, my dear um, Hello Week. Uh, me. Please. Uh, okay. Uh, for. Yes. Yes. Uh, group four, explosive kids. Honest, don't hey, say hat. To tell people that people what they think of them. A explosive kids spoil it. One stop until they get what they they want. Aggressive. Fight more often than most other kids. Thank you very much. And group number five. Um, let me see who else can help me out. Emily Lopez. Yes, teacher. Help me please with mining adults. Okay. Obedient. Wash their hands and take showers without a fight. Critical. Hate lazy people and always expect perfections. Responsible. Responsible. Take the in tip to do chores around the house. Thank you so much. All right, so we have the description of the five groups of kids. Maybe you fit in one of them, maybe you're not, or maybe you are in between things. We said, no, oh, teacher, I'm kind of group number two, but I also have some, some, uh, some traits of group number three or from five and one. So sometimes you're not pure one group. You don't purely belong to a specific group. Maybe you are a combination of a couple of groups. Uh, I do not consider like any of those. When I was a child, I was kind of shy, you know. But anyway, um, this exercise, uh, you have to classify which kids will say this. I want the new iPad tomorrow, daddy. No, not next week. I want it now. So that definitely is group number four. The ones that fight more often, well, they will not stop until they get what they want. And let me check the, the answers. Just for you to check because the time is, is up. Here is group number four, number three, number one, two, Two, five, four, four, three, one, two, two, five, four. And that will be it for today. Thank you. Um, and like I said at the beginning of the class, uh, try to please, please, please get ready for Wednesday's uh, evaluation. Okay. Have an excellent afternoon. Thank you very much.